Welcome to episode 19 of PVTV, where we talk all things solar. On today's episode, we are discussing LG batteries. LG batteries. LG Ken. Solar batteries. And before we do, we just wanted to say thank you to our 200 subscribers that have joined us on the channel. It's great to have you here. And a very exciting announcement that's actually prompted us to talk about LG batteries. And that is being awarded this, which is that we were the largest installer of Sky Energy of LG batteries in Southeast Asia for 2018. Yeah. In fact, we installed more batteries than the next four companies combined. Yeah. So a like, little pat on the back to us. But thank you so much if you bought a battery from us or if you subscribed to the channel or supported us in any way. Massive thank you to you. Um, we want to talk about LG batteries today and specifically why we use or why we love LG batteries. We've used many, many different kinds of batteries and we're not brand loyal here at Sky Energy. It's worth saying we, we use the best products that we can find to give people their solar and battery solutions. Ross, what would you say is the first reason why we like to use LG batteries and why you think we've sold so many LG batteries over the past 12 months? Well, I think LG has one of the best ranges um, of batteries available. So when I say range, I mean um, in size and um, voltage range as well. So there's, there's yeah. two types of battery when it comes to um, residential batteries. There's low voltage and high voltage. They're not all that different in terms of what you can expect to get out of them. But LG has a, um, a range to suit either requirement. Yeah, and what would be an advantage and a disadvantage, I guess, of high voltage or low voltage batteries and having that choice? Um, I believe low voltages are really good for off-grid yeah. um, and that sort of application. Um, what it means for the home, honestly, is really not that much of a difference that we've come across so sure. far. We've installed plenty of high voltages and plenty of low voltages. It seems um, to be brand specific to an extent. Yeah. So different brands of inverter favorite, yeah, exactly. favorite high voltage or low voltage batteries and LG provide an option for both. Yeah, exactly. So if you like your solar edge SMA, yeah. they've got an option for that. If you like the um, Sun the grid or Sun Grow, they've got, got different option. choices. Yeah, exactly. So LG have an option for, for pretty much most sort of solar setups yep. to add an LG battery on high voltage or low voltage. Um, what else? And, and you talked about the range. So you've got 6.5 kilowatts, the battery started. So they actually start at um, a more manageable size for people. You don't have to start with a huge battery when going LG. Yeah. You can start at a 6.5 and they go all the way up to 13. Yeah, you can go 6.5, 10. Kilowatt hours, we're talking. Kilowatt, kilowatt hours, hours. Capacity size, sorry. Yeah. Um, so 6.5, 10, 13, and then you can even double those. Yeah. So you can have two 6.5s. You can even go with 6.5 and a 10. Um, using LG's little combiner box. There you go. So um, it's very flexible in how you expand on the system and how you can grow the system. Which is great because not everyone needs a huge, yeah, you know, th 10, 13 kilowatt hour battery. Some people only need a 6.5 yeah. and they can spend the money on a 6.5. Yeah, the 6.5 is so, being pretty popular as well. So yeah. obviously a lot of people would want to start with that smaller battery now. Absolutely. In terms of the second advantage to using LG batteries, what would you say the second advantage to LG batteries is? Um, they're very available. Um, okay. If that's a word. Yeah. Um, so there's never any supply issues. Um, they've got a great, great support. Support. The service teams here in yeah. Melbourne, Australia. Um, and where we're based. So that, yeah. That's handy. So you can, um, if you're on site or if you have issues, you can give actual LG chemicals. So you don't call your supplier or anything like or that. America or America or China. You call the local yeah. support team here and you can get really good tech support here. Um, and when I say available before, the supply is also really good. Yeah, and that's important to note because when it comes to solar batteries, probably the biggest downfall of Tesla is that they haven't even had the production process ironed out, as we've mentioned before. So people are on these 12 month waiting lists mm. where because LG Chem has been around for such a long time, making uh, you know chemical products and eventually batteries, they've had that, that production process ironed out. So people buying an LG Chem battery can get it the next week. Yeah. You're not waiting 12 months or, or longer for a battery. And so that availability plus the support that's here for us locally in Australia um, is really, really good and, awesome. and gives us a lot of confidence when recommending LG batteries to people that not only will they be taken care of by us, but that they'll be taken care of by LG. And you know when you're spending that much money on a battery, you wanna yeah. make sure that the company that's selling it to you, not us specifically, but LG is gonna be around and they've definitely got that reputation yep. that they're gonna be around for, for, for a while. Now this is really cool. This is something I learned, the, the, this third thing we're gonna talk about 
actually when we caught up with some of the guys from LG last week, yeah, and we were discussing some of the LG products, some of the guys who work at LG Chem in Australia, and we discovered that there's a recycle program, yes, which is a, which is awesome. I was blown away. What's what's this recycle program? Yeah, well, it's a, a question a lot of people are asking is what will happen to these batteries. Um, they've all got 10-year warranties and we want to get 10, 15 years out of them, but what is going to happen in 10 years when we start getting rid of them or, or they come to the end yeah. of life? Um, Do so they go LG, to landfill? Do they poison the earth? Yeah. Which um, are good LG, questions. Yeah. Really good questions. Yeah. LG jumped on this um, pretty early yeah. and they've partnered with a recycling company here in Australia, um, EnviroStream. EnviroStream. Um, and the figure they put up on the board was something like 95% of the batteries they can recycle. That's um, unreal. Of the actual battery. So That's unreal. they've um, been really proactive in how they're going to recycle these batteries. I'm not sure who else has got a recycling program yet yeah. for batteries. I mean, it's um, massive for us because we don't want to be giving people a product yeah. that's good for them and good for the earth now and then screws over the kids. Yeah. <laughs> like, we want to make sure it's good for everyone. Yeah. And, and for us, I mean, learning this was has just, you know, given me a whole new respect for the LG product, which I was already a big fan of because now we're we're looking after all parts of the of the puzzle, so yeah. to speak, and, and not only looking after electricity bills now, but also the planet in the future, recycling those batteries. So that that's really cool. Ninety or ninety five percent recyclable the LG batteries are now with their partnership through EnviroStream. So yeah, that's very cool. The downside to LG batteries, I will say that if I can consider this a downside, um, in my experience of looking at many, many different solar batteries is that they don't have the solar inverter, sorry, the battery inverter built into the battery. Yeah. So when you get a Tesla battery or an Enphase battery, the battery unit actually has an inverter in it. It's very plug and play. So you can just plug it into essentially a switchboard, yeah. turn the thing on, it'll automatically draw the power from your solar and charge the battery. Now, LG doesn't have this. What LG does have though, uh, in, in not having that inbuilt is a slight advantage as well, which I think um, in that if your inverter is built into the battery, it's the part most likely to fail. Whereas cause with LG batteries, you have to buy it externally. If that fails within 10 years and the battery has got a 15 year life, you can just replace the inverter, uh, the battery inverter. You don't yeah. have to replace the whole battery. Yeah. And from experience, we know inverters are one of the most common things to fail in, in a, a solar, solar system. system. So yeah. the fact that you've got, like you said, it's good and it's bad. So it's not as easy to install. It's not as easy to just chuck on your house. It's got a little bit more involved installation wise. You have to buy the battery and have an inverter or buy yeah. a battery inverter with the battery. But when it comes to servicing and repairs of, of anything that could go wrong, um, you can split it out into what the problem actually is. Yeah, so the battery lasts 15 years, great. And you can just replace the inverter after yeah. 10, which is relatively 10 years, five years, 10 years, which is relatively inexpensive. Yeah. Rather than, you know, if you've got a Tesla, the inverter is actually built into that with the battery. And if yeah. it fails, the question is, well, do you have to replace the whole unit? Yeah. And once your 10-year warranty's up, you might be kind of screwed. Yeah. Well, well, no one knows at this stage. So that's that's something to worth worth thinking about. Yeah. Any other things you'd like to talk about, LG? Um, that solar batteries? Not really. I mean, I think LG just do a great job of all the little things. Yeah. So they've got, they support the installers, they support the end users. You know, they've got the recyclable recycling program, they've got a flexible lineup. So it's no one thing I think that makes them yeah. um, good. It's that they've, they're they looking after all the small parts. Yeah, and it's and it's a company that's had the experience. So yeah. you can tell they've been around, I mean, LG Chem for almost 80 years, 60 years or 80 years or something. And it, it comes, comes through in the quality of the product. And well and truly, we are not incentivized by LG to no. say this. Um, we've, we've worked with many, many batteries, solar batteries, and installed many solar batteries ourselves and found that um, for the reasons we mentioned that we like to use LG. Once again, thank you so much. If you're one of our 200 subscribers, it means so much to us that you've subscribed to our channel. Thank you for being a part of this. If you get any questions about solar and batteries, leave them in the comments below this video. And as always, we look forward to answering them for you on the next episode of PVTV. Take care.